So what changed? What changed between this moment where there are credit cards, but their use is restricted to Joseph and his friends? What was different by the 1970s and 80s was that capital began to flow through new kinds of financial instruments, new kinds of institutions. And the sources of this come from very different directions. Um, when Miraglia did go to jail, consumer debt was now a site of investment. It was very easy to get money to move into credit cards. It didn't have to be restricted to men of means, men of responsibility. It began as well to crowd out the kinds of choices that businesses would make for their capital. And for me, this is the most important aspect of this. This here is a GECC, um, SEC filing, talking about its bond issues and what it do, does. In the 1960s, GE stumbled into the revolving credit field, um, beginning to use its bond issuing power to borrow from capital markets, to act as an intermediary, and lend that money to consumers. It did this directly through its stores, but most importantly, it did it indirectly. It began to offer charge accounts, or rather, it would underwrite charge accounts through um, various kinds of stores, like Caldors and the equivalent of Target and Walmart today. By the end of the 1960s, GE went from a company that just made motors to a company that financed one in 25 households for their everyday credit needs. And it wasn't just GE. Big banks like Citibank and big corporations began to figure out ways to sell bonds and then use that money to lend to consumers. And in some ways, this is still like the 1920s, that there is still an intermediary between the capital markets, it's that is where, um, and where all the money comes from, and the borrowers. But you start to see the first inklings of a securitized economy. You start to see the first inklings. Because you start to see our major financial and industrial corporations, Citibank, GE, we're not talking the margins here, begin to decide it's a better investment of that money that they raise from their bond issues to invest in consumer debt than in building new factories, than investing in new uh, technologies. So rather than a way to get real things made and real things sold, debt begins to displace, fundamentally weakening our economy. 